guys welcome back to my channel yes i know it's been a minute again it has been so crazy a lot has been going on i don't even want to get into details about it it's there's just been one thing after another after another um so i just haven't had the chance and i haven't been in the best of moods to do videos i'm really sorry i went mia again um it was not my teeth this time it was more I just, I didn't feel like getting on. Like, I miss you guys. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a haul and then I get ready to do it and I'm just, I'm not in the mood. And I don't wanna do that to you guys. I don't, I don't like being fake. I like being honest with you guys. I'm open with you guys. So if I'm not in a good mood, I don't wanna put you guys in a bad mood. You get what I'm saying? Um, as you can see, yes, there is no Easter. I misplaced my watermelon backdrop from last year. I have no idea where it is. I've scoured everywhere looking for it. Don't know. So I'm ordering a new one. And um, I really don't have a whole lot of watermelon decor. So um, anyways, long story short, I'm back. I'm planning on going live tonight. I don't know when you guys are going to see this haul. I'm hoping I can get it edited and posted today. Um, and then I'm supposed to go live tonight if I'm up feeling up to it. I haven't gone live either, so it's not just hauls. I've been not going live either. I was going to go live on Friday, and my mom ended up coming, and I just wanted to spend time with her. I didn't want to be doing any of this stuff while she was here. Um, but grab yourself a drink. I have my coffee right here. I know it's not summer. Don't come at me. I don't decorate for spring. I never do. Um usually right after Easter I put sunflower stuff up and then I'll have that as like my spring decor like my normal regular stuff this year I just wanted to hop right into summer I have a few summer DIYs that I want to do there was one Easter one that I didn't get a chance to film for you guys I wanted to go live with it I saved everything it's in my Easter bin so I'm I will use, I will do that one next year. And I saved the video of the lady that did it. So I am going to do that next year. Hopefully I'll get to it beforehand. But anyways, I've missed you guys. Grab yourself a drink. This is a really small haul. It's mainly 99 cent store, but a couple things from Dollar General. This stuff has been sitting for, I don't even know how long. I, I seriously can't tell you how long this stuff's been sitting here. I forgot I even had most of this stuff. Um, there's Easter and St. Patty's Day stuff from the 99 cent store that, I mean, I can show you guys, but I just need to put it in my bin. Um, I didn't get a chance to use it. If you want to see it, I can show you or I don't know. And then after this, I'm going to show you my two, uh, newest Ipsy bags. I technically have like 10, maybe eight, nine, 10. I don't know that I was supposed to show you guys. I, yeah, I had already opened them. I, my pile of Ipsy bags was getting ridiculous and I wanted to use some of the stuff, but these are my last, my newest two. So I'm going to show this at the end. So that way, if you're not interested in the Ipsy bags, you can just click off and you won't miss anything. So that's going to be at the end because there's really not a whole lot here. Um, but like I said, I've missed you guys. I'm sorry. I went MIA again. Wasn't planning on going MIA, but you know, things just happen. So I'm going to show you real quick from Dollar General. There was more stuff I needed. Um, I think there was like Easter bags, like the actual ones with the handles. It says Easter with my gnomies and it had gnomes and they had little bunny ears. I think I got three, three of them, four of them. It was like a four count at Dollar General. Um, that's what I went for. I also got big Ziploc bags for Easter and it had the truck on it for the Easter goodie bags for my husband's work. So that was one of the reasons why I went because I had gone to Dollar Tree. They didn't have any. So I went to Dollar General. And of course, I always get a few other things while I'm there. Um, I did get these. I've been using the I've been doing a lot of crock pot recipes and I've never tried these before, so I don't know how well these ones are going to work. I've seen a few ladies buy the ones 
from like Walmart or Target and I think that's like the Reynolds wraps. So I'm gonna try this one first, see if this works and if it works then I'll just buy these. This one was a bonus so you get three liners instead of two. It was a dollar in the Dollar General like dollar aisle. Um, it's just a slow cooker liner. So that way easier cleanup. So I will definitely try these and I will let you guys know. I didn't if I remembered, I would have opened it and I would have used it last night because I did use my crock pot last night. But um, the next time I do a crock pot meal, I'm going to use this and I'll let you guys know how it works. So I did get those. I also got some candies because these are different. I haven't seen these like at Dollar Tree or the 99. You guys know I'm always picking up candy for my hubby. And um, especially when it's something new and something different. These are gummy bears, bears gummies. There's 12 favor flavors. They're by Jovi, Javi. So you get cranberry, mango, oh, sorry. Cranberry, cherry, raspberry, strawberry, lemon, tangerine, mango, green apple, orange, pineapple, watermelon, and grape. So it tells you all the flavors right here. So I got those. And for the kids, if they wanna take a couple, you know, if they want like a handful for dessert, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I also found these. They're new by Sour Dudes. They are summy. I can't, like seriously can't even talk right now. Sour Gummies Fruit Blast. You get sour cherry, sour strawberry, sour peach ring, and sour watermelon wedge. So you get like the wedge pieces. You get the peach rings. You get the cherries. So this is what they look like. So I got one bag of those as well. And then I got this. I don't know how well this is going to do. So I will see. Um, but it's scratch free, scrub free, soft cream cleanser. Cuts through tough dirt, grease, soap scum, and cooked on food spills. 10 fluid ounce. And it is in the lemon scent. So I got this to try on my stove. My stove's really not that bad. But, um... I'm out of my like spray that I use. And when I was there, I saw this. So I wanna give this a try and see how well that is. And then the last thing from Dollar General is this really cute, which leaked. So I don't know if it's cracked or if it just spilt. Um, this is luxury hand soap and it's strawberry watermelon. I'm gonna leave it in this cause it kind of looks like a mason jar. Um, I wanna use this in my kitchen now that I'm decorating for summer and all of that. 12 fluid ounces and it was only a dollar. So I got that. Love the way it smells. I did open it and smell it in the store because that's how I am. If I don't like the way it smells, I'm not going to get it. Um, so that was it from Dollar General. Like I said, there was more, but it was stuff that I needed. So I can't show you. Um, 99. Again, there was a lot more than this too, but it, this stuff just been sitting for a while. I love these bags. The are, these are two gallon size and you get 10 in here. So I only find these that I've never looked at Dollar Tree if they have bags like this, but this is only 99 cents at the 99 cent store. So I did get one, one more of those. I also got some, this is great value, which is Walmart. I was surprised I saw it there. They had two different kinds. They had spaghetti and linguine. Um, so I got the linguine because I already have plenty of spaghetti noodles, but I wanted to get a package of this. It doesn't expire until July of 2024, so it still has a good shelf life on it. Um, I did get one of those. This was also 99 cents. The reason I'm telling you because the 99 cent store is adult is 99 cents and up. So not everything is 99 cents, um, but those were. I also got more fruit mix packets. I only find these at 99 and Dollar General. I don't ever see the watermelon at Dollar Tree. I know some people can find them there. Um, cheaper than Walmart and Target because I've looked and it's like two, two something for like a box of this at Target. So yeah, I'd rather go to the 99 cent store or Dollar General. I love this one. This one's my favorite. It's the only one I will drink. It has been helping me drink more water because I don't like water. Um, and I just pour one of these in my like Stanley dupe cup. It's by Simple Modern. It's a hot pink cup. I love it. It looks like a Stanley. 
Um, I pour, I put ice water, one of these, and then I do a pump of skinny syrup and, and it's mermaid, which is like a tropical. It tastes really good. The kids like it too. So I do one of these. I have, I think two boxes left, but I always pick one up when I go there just because I'm always drinking these and it's my favorite. And my husband does like the watermelon ones too. So he has been getting into them, but I picked him up some new ones. I got him watermelon lemonade by Weiler's Light. And then I got him this one and it's Island Punch, but it's Purple Berry Wave. So I got him two. He's, I think he's tried this one. Um, I know he likes the strawberry lemonade one, but I don't know if he's had the watermelon. So I saw that and I got it for him. And this one, he's had the fruit punch and another one, but I, I don't think he's had this one, um, the purple berry wave. So I got him that one to try because he uses that stuff a lot too. And then I also found Jolly Rancher gelatin dessert in watermelon and he's been craving water, uh, jello. So I think I want to make this one. I only got one box. It says, I think all you need is water, obviously. Yeah, you just add one cup of boiling water, stir, and then stir in one cup of cold water, and then you refrigerate it for four hours and it should be done. So I'm gonna make that this weekend. And then I also got, cause this is a big bag compared to the ones at Dollar Tree. Um, so this will last him a while. It is the Lifesaver Gummies Wild Berries. So you get strawberry, red raspberry, blackberry, black raspberry, white grape, and cherry berry. So he's had these before. Like I said, they have little bags at Dollar Tree, but this is a bigger one. This is a seven ounce bag. And I think this was $1.29, $1.49 or something. So I got one of those for him. And then I found these and I thought, just as like something different, a little snack. If my husband wants to throw one in his lunchbox, if the kids want one, that's fine. Um, we all love tricks in this house. So it is new tricks, treats, and you get eight bars. So it is the cereal with like the drizzle. Um, my kids don't always get things like this. So this will be something nice and different they can have. They also show that there's a Reese's Puffs one and a Golden Grahams. But they didn't have those ones. They only had this one. And I think this was $2.99. So I did get one of those. That's it for food. Um, needed some of these. And I have, have been having a hard time finding them at do any of my Dollar Trees. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. But I need the little ones. Because I hang up a lot of tiny, smaller signs in like my kitchen and on my walls. And you get 16 in here. So I got a pack of those. Leland got a Hot Wheel, and I think he forgot about it. This is Bricking Speed, and it has like a Lego guy laying on the top. And there's like little Lego pieces, so he wanted that one. Mom. I'll fix the TV in a minute. Just go. Um, I got this for a giveaway for my ring bombs when I go live. I Or I might keep it. I don't know. I really don't need any more cosmetics bag, cosmetic bags. And when I saw this, that was my first thought. I was like, that would be a really cute, like, giveaway prize for my ring bombs. So it is by Kendall and Kylie. This big one is clear and cheetah. So it's clear, cheetah print, nice little beach bag, or if you're going on an air, you know, on a trip, um, I've seen a lot of people on TikTok do like emergency kits for their car. This will be a good one. I mean, it's not completely see-through, but you can see through it. Um, a travel bag, whatever you want, has a really, it's really big and nice. And it has this really cute little tassel, well not a tassel, but it has the K Kylie and Kendall logo. This was originally $6 from wherever it was from. And it was only $3.99 at the 99 cent store. And then it comes with a smaller black makeup bag that fits inside. It has stuffing in it. Oh, a little air thing. No zipper pouch. It's just one black pouch. So I thought this was really cute and really nice. So I'm going to save it for a giveaway. Um, and almost likely include more stuff. But it does fit inside of this. 
Um, obviously you don't have to leave it in there. You can take it out if you want. You'll have two, two makeup bags for the price of one and one is bigger than the other. So I did, like I said, I did get this for a giveaway prize. Um, so they had one more and it was like a different color. I think it was like a blush pink. I did like it, but I didn't like the pattern that was on it. And I leaned more towards this one because it's black. I mean, even if you don't like cheetah print, you could keep the middle, like the one inside and you could gift the clear one to somebody else if you wanted. So I probably will put goodies in here, um, like some makeup items and stuff like that. Or I will, sh if I don't put it inside, I'll show it with everything. But this is going to be a prize for a giveaway. And I think I'm going to hold on to this until like around my birthday and I will do a giveaway like around my birthday time for the ring bomb stuff. So that'll be, that's what this is going to be for. Fell in love with that. If I ever go back and I decide I want one, I'll get one for myself. But I have so many makeup bags that I really don't need any. Um, but it is really cute. I did get some pens. You guys know I have an obsession and a problem. But I found these ballpoint pens with the bright... I love that hot pink and the orange and you get 10 in here. So I just got those for my adult coloring books and stuff. And then I found these. I don't like this red one with the white polka dots. So I will take that one out and put it in my goodie bag for when people order ring bombs or I can give it to my mom or somebody else. Cause I'm just not, I'm not big on the red with the white polka dots, but I fell in love with the little cherries it's pink, it has little white flowers, and then the cherries on it. So I did get that. And then I also found this. I have one, but I don't know where, where it is. So that's why I got this. It was $3.99. It's by Glam Life. It's a glitter power bank, portable power bank. And it comes with a the charger, wow, charger, charger, and it has like a keychain thing on it, so you can clip it if you need to. Um, they also had it in gold, but I liked the pink glittery. So it has one power bank and one charging cord. And then you could obviously just keep this in your car. You could put it in your purse, your backpack, whatever you need, so that way if your phone ever dies and you don't, and you're not around somewhere where you can plug in your phone to like an outlet or in your car or whatever, say you get stuck on, some, on the side of the road and you don't want to leave your car running to charge your phone, you'll have this for an emergency. So it was $3.99. I don't know how good this works because the ones that me and my husband have are really, really expensive and really nice ones. But I think mine is with my stuff in the shed from when my car got totaled. Um, I took everything out, like my jumper cables, all my little accessory things, and I had all my like emergency stuff, and I think mine is in there. And then my husband has one in his truck, but I don't know how to use his. His is different. So I figured I would just keep this in the glove box or in my purse or like I said, whatever. If I decide to not keep this, I can use it as a giveaway as well. And then the last two things are watermelon themed. I don't know where I'm putting this one yet. I'm not done decorating. I know I didn't do an Easter house tour. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but it wasn't really, I mean, you guys kind of saw behind me, but I really wish I would have done one. It was, it turned out really good. Um, so maybe I'll do a watermelon one, but I found this and I fell in love with it. I think I want to hang this on my door. Um, it was $1.49. It's just a metal hanging decor and it just says welcome with a little bite missing right here. So fell in love with that. And then they had these last year and I do have some, but this one is different. So it has the beads on it. It's a wood bead garland. It has a little tassel. And then instead of a slice or like a wedge of watermelon, it has a big round slice. So I only got one. They did have um, a lemon and I think an orange, but I only do watermelon. So I just got one. It was $1.99 and it's really long. So I'll probably put it on this tray right here. Um, like I said, but I need to find more stuff because I have nothing to put over here and I've pretty much taken everything out that I have that is watermelon. 
So maybe I need to do a little shopping for some more watermelon decor because I don't think I had this big of a bookshelf last year. Um, I think I only had one, but I can't remember. So maybe I need to go back and watch a video or like a live from when I was sitting here and I had my backdrop. And that way I can look and see what was back here because I don't know how big this was and I don't know what I had. So anyways, I did get that. Um, like I said, I did have more stuff. It was just Easter stuff. It wasn't really anything great. And a couple of signs for St. Patty's Day that I didn't get a chance to put out because I never did a haul. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my Ipsy bags. Like I said, I have two of them. I don't know which one came first. It's not like dated or anything, so I don't know. Um, oh, I think this one came first. Yeah, this is March. So this is my March Ipsy bag. Doesn't say anything about any of the products. This is what the bag looks like. It's white. It has a lady right here on the coin. Like it kind of looks like a coin. And then it is dark blue inside. So really cute bag. I got, let's see. Yeah, this doesn't say anything. Um, I got this Bright Wave Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. Energy drink for tired eyes. It's clean, cruelty-free, vegan, dermatologist tested. 0 .13, 0 0.13 fluid ounces. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little brightening cream, um, eye cream. So I might try this, I don't know. Smooth blur, do it bright. Gently tap around eye area. So, really cute. I'll, um, I might give that a try if I decide not to. I keep all my Ipsy stuff in a bag and whenever I see my sisters, I let them pick out whatever they want and then whatever they don't want, I bring back with me and I usually just add it for like Fred mail, giveaways, stuff like that. Um, some of my sisters like stuff like this, some of them don't, so, but I like to give them like first dibs on stuff. Um, this I will be keeping for myself. It is a nutty vanilla. It is nature's original balanced moisture moisturizer Dionys goat milk skincare, goat milk hand cream, soothes and moisturizes for dry hands. And Lord knows I have dry hands and I need this. And the fact that it smells like vanilla, I'm, yeah. I've had a few of these before and I didn't like the way they smelled so I never kept them for myself. But the fact that this one's vanilla, oh, I can smell the vanilla through that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try this out and see how I like it. And it is one ounce. So I got that. I also got a nail polish. Trust Fun Beauty Nail Lacquer. And this is in the color Ride or Die. Which is a very, very off-white cream color. I actually really like it. Um has a little bit of like a pink tint to it. It's a really pretty like creamy off-white. Love that. So that's what that looks like. Definitely try that on my toes. I don't use regular nail polish on my nails. I do gel so I can't. But I always keep nail polishes. Um, especially colors that I like from my Ipsy bags. I keep them for you know Shannon if she wants to me to paint her nails or if my sisters come over and they want me to do their toes or paint their nails I'll have an, like variety of colors for them but I do my toes myself so I do do regular I don't do gel on my toes I do regular nail polish so I'll keep that I actually really like that color this is lash treat volumizing mascara and it is two milliliters and it is by Tarte Sorry, Tarte Lash Treat. So I did get a mascara. 
that's what the wand looks like. Been wanting a new mascara, so I've been wanting to get into this Ipsy bag. And the last thing I got is this Cab Good Vibrations Tinted Lip Oil. I'm not going to open this because I don't know if I will keep this. So it is in the plastic. The fact that it's tinted is what's making me not want to keep it. Um, I like lip oils, but not when they are so bright like this. It's a very vibrant, really pretty pink, but I don't do that. So I'm probably going to keep it in the plastic and see if my sisters want it. If they don't, I can always throw it like again, give away goodie bag, whatever. It is 3.7. Oh, it's 0.13 ounces. So it's a really decent size. And then again, there's the logo cab. So that is what I got in this one. Pretty happy with everything. Um, I mean, I, I am going to give that a try. I got a mascara, a nail polish, and a lotion. I mean, this is, again, really pretty. But if, if it's too bright for me, then I won't keep it. But I was really happy with this Ipsy bag for March. I guess I don't have to put it in there. And then this is my newest one. This is April. I don't know if this one has anything. Yeah, this one doesn't say anything either, but this is April. The bag is so pretty, it has cute blue flowers. And then it says, look good, do good. And it has a really pretty mauve brown red tassel. I did get a beauty blender by V Cosmetic. Not gonna open this because I don't use foundation or anything like that, so I don't want to open this. I'm gonna keep it in the plastic, um, and I will use. I might keep it for this, and I'll put it in here um, with some other mu makeup items. This is a name brand, so that's a really good one to put in there instead of it being like a Dollar Tree one, you know. So I'll put that in there most likely. Um, again, I got another goat's milk hand cream, but this one's different. Oh, this is a foot cream. So maybe I'll keep this one too. Uh, Dionys, Dionys. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Goat milk skincare, soul keeper. Sorry. Yes, I'm definitely keeping this for rough calloused cracked feet will deteriorize, moisturize and resurface cracked heels and feet. One ounce. So I'm definitely keeping that. I thought this was, when I just glanced at it, I thought it was just a hand cream, but I will definitely try that. Um, hopefully this one doesn't have coconut in it. I don't think it does. It says it has goat milk, shea butter, avocado oil to restore the natural beauty of your heels and feet with an added touch of peppermint oil and tea tree oil to deteriorize tired, hardworking feet. So definitely going to try that. I also got a Pure Lease Yuzu and Orange Moisturizer. Resurfaces, boosts collagen, brightens all skin types, even sensitive. Um, 0.5 fluid ounces. So definitely going to try this. The fact that it's not coconut or pineapple, I will definitely give this a try. I also got a Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And this one is number four in Warm Deep Brown. Ultra Fine Brow Defining Pencil. So the box got a little smushed on the way here, but that's okay. Um, ultra defining tip, shapeless, undefined brows, filled and defined, natural looking hair like strokes. So I don't know if this is my shade. If it is, then I will keep it. If it's not, obviously, then I will let my sisters see if they want it. Only I think one of my sisters would possibly want this. Um, this is really pretty though. Can I please have something? Yes. Can I 
these. Not right now. Go get something else. I don't know how to open this. Oh, duh. So there's no cap. It just twists out of there. I was trying to take it off. So I will see if this matches. And if it doesn't, like I said, I'll just put it in here and see if one of my sisters wants it. If they don't, then I will add it to my goodie bag or like my giveaway bag or whatever. And the last thing, this is what I chose for that month. I don't know what I chose. I think I might've chosen the nail polish. It really doesn't matter what I chose, but I try to remember what I choose. Um, but I don't even remember what I chose this last time. So I won't know until my bag gets here. And then I remember this is by Ariza Beauty glow up lip balm watermelon waves so of course i had to get it love the packaging i am gonna open it if i can oh it's like a okay i thought it was gonna be like a squeeze tube there's actually a wand in here Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Yep, perfect for summertime. Love that. And this is 0.42 fluid ounces. So that is a decent size lip gloss. Again, I thought it was gonna have like the little like squeezy tube thing. I should have known it was a wand because it's so long right here, but super excited to try this out. So that is my April Ipsy bag. Now I'm all caught up on my Ipsy bags and hopefully I won't get behind again. And when I see one or, you know, as soon as one comes in, I'll just add it to the end of my video or what, whatever. So super excited with that Ipsy bag as well and the bag itself. I feel like these are super cute, especially this one for like springtime and this solid white, you can't go wrong. So that is it for my 99 with a little bit of Dollar General slash Ipsy glam bags. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry I went MIA again for and not telling you guys a lot's just been going on, um, but I'm back. We're good. Everything's fine. I just had a ton and I've been wanting to decorate before I go live but like I said I don't really have a whole lot so um so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up make sure to like comment subscribe I would love to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already and until then I'll see you guys next time bye